guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be creating a little file folder accordion and we're gonna be using the new um, file folder mini album die set from Scrap Diva Designs. Remember that I have a coupon code if you decide to pick up this die or any other die on um, Erica's website. You can use that coupon code, it is Patty10 and it'll get you 10% off your entire purchase site-wide. Okay, so let's get right to it. This little file folder die set comes with a load of pieces, you guys. I have seen it used in so many different ways. I have yet to see it used in the same way. So that is a good thing. That means that this is going to be really fun to have in your stash and play with. Um, so it comes with all of these pieces right here that you can use to embellish your folder, you guys, your file folder. So you've got all these tabs and intricate dies that create fun little shapes on your paper like this one right here um, you've got these pieces that create little pockets you can of course use these to create pockets these to create tabs you've got these little hands right here that you can use for um, like corners of pictures so you can use like a little brad and you know it'll move and you can slide photos in and out you've got these really cute photo corners right here this little pocket right here that has a stitch detail You've got this little heart and these little um, pieces right here that are also very movable. Um, I can't think of another word. And then you've got this word right here that says memories and it's got the shadow piece. So again, lots of pieces. These pieces right here, these larger pieces are the pieces that create your actual file folder mini album. And you've got this piece right here, which is the one that I used today to create my file folder accordion. Um, so you've got these two pieces, actually, I didn't use this one. <laughs> I used this one, the one that has two tabs. Um, and you'll see what I mean. This one has three tabs. I'm assuming you can use this to create a little tip in. And then you can add, because these are tabs, so then you can add other pieces to it. And then you've got the layering pieces. So again, a lot of moving pieces to this one, which makes it really fun and a great one to have in your stash. So let me show you how to use it in case you've already picked it up or if you've decided on picking it up, um, this is another way that you can use it. So I'm really excited to share this with you because it came out really cute, I think. <laughs> um, we will see. I tried to put the pieces together so that I could get an idea of what it was going to look like finished. And I'm glad I did that because I realized that I was using this pink paper as a base piece, but on the inside it was going to be white because the... Um, the printed paper that I'm using has white on the opposite side. So I went ahead and just double layered it. So it would all be white on the inside. So this is what I did, you guys. I cut out two of those pieces, the ones that have just the double tab, right? And then um, I cut out, I used the layering piece to cut out my printed paper, this uh, piece of paper right here. And I did that twice. So that is going to create the front and back of our um, accordion. And then for the bottom piece, I cut out a piece of paper that measures five and three fourths by two inches. So five and three fourths by two inches. That is gonna be the base of our accordion. And then um, this measures five and five eighths by one and seven eighths. And that's just gonna be a little, um, that's just gonna leave a little border like I did on these um, for the bottom piece. So let me adhere these really quickly. Okay, so again, this piece right here is the spine or base of our accordion and it measures five and three fourths by two. This is the layering piece and measures five and five eighths by one and seven eighths. Okay, I'm gonna put that up to the screen so you can do a quick screenshot and then I am going to adhere this bad boy so we can get on with it. <laughs> um, just like that, okay, perfect. Then we are going to make sure that our paper is facing the correct direction, especially when you're using a paper like this that is, has a print on it that needs to be facing a certain direction, right? So these pieces are going to go adhered to my um, base, okay? So let's do that really quickly. I'm just going to add some liquid glue to this. Or actually, you know what? Let me do some double-sided tape because I've been trying to use this up and I have not been successful. <laughs> It's a lot. I got this off of, was it scrapbook.com? I don't even remember. Um, and I just not have not been able to use it all up. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. And I did make the mistake, like I said, of using pink initially. So 
there's that. But it's okay because the outside is going to be pink and the inside is going to be white. Okay, so that's going to go right on there. Hopefully we can line that up properly. And hopefully my vision works. <laughs> So I just layered these pieces and you can see that there's a little border around and that's where the pink is, but it's white on the inside. Okay. And then this piece, when it folds up, yeah, so it's going to go this way. So let me add some double-sided tape to this. Okay. And this is going to be so awesome. This die makes it super fast, right? You don't have to be worrying about measurements and that kind of thing. Um, Okay. like it's already planned out for you you just base your measurements on the die okay so just like that okay and that is like our little book so far so you can also use this to create a mini album you guys look how cute this is and it just looks so good already okay and then up here we are gonna use this piece right here that I have prepared for our closure and let me grab the measurements for you because I can't remember what that was so the measurement for this is four and a half by five and three-fourths so five and three-fourths by four and a half and you are going to score this make sure your paper is facing the correct direction so this is going to be the bottom this is going to be um, what flaps over um, so you're going to score this at two inches and that's going to give you your little closure now what I did here is I used one of those dies. I just added it to the center, ran it through my die cutting machine to cut out this little, um, this cute little detail in the front. And how it cuts out is that this, it doesn't cut out completely, right? It just kind of cuts out the shape for you. So then I just folded this piece over, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just folded that piece over and all we have to do is tape it to here, adhere it to here. Again, with that double-sided tape, So super fun and easy. So you can use this little file folder as a mini album as well. You can add little inserts inside with your pictures and, um, you know, use the little corners, the little corners that come in the die set to hold your pictures on those tabs inside, which I think would be really fun. So this is going to go on here. Just like so. And then this tab right here, we do not need, but we're not going to cut it off. We're just going to adhere it and fold it in. And that's just going to give a little bit of support, a little bit of extra support, right? I'm just going to fold that excess inward so it won't be sticking out, causing things to stick to it. And then just fold it. So that tab is now on the inside okay and this is what we have so far just like so look how cute oh my gosh I love it okay so I had planned on using a magnet you guys I do not know how to use magnets and it's very obvious because looking at this I'm thinking I should have hidden it under something right but I guess I can do like a little punch a little circle punch and do it that way what do you think Okay, so I've got one piece right here. We're going to see if this works for me, you guys. Okay. It might have helped to maybe do some research and see how you're supposed to do this. But this is just what my... <laughs> my processes oh my gosh I'm a net okay okay and then I'm gonna add another piece of tape to this to see if it'll adhere to my other paper I don't know why I think that's gonna work <laughs> okay let's see I'm thinking about right there <laughs> you guys what is wrong with me okay it's not even close I don't think <laughs> oh my 
that is not working. Okay, let's see, let's see. We're gonna tape this down. Let me get a little hole punch. Oh, it's right here. Hey, you guys, I think it worked. So I used this little 5 eighths of an inch um, hole punch. Okay, you guys, I think it worked. So I used this little 5 eighths of an inch circle hole punch and I punched out some circles and then I just added the magnets. It's my very first magnet. Woohoo! Okay, so we've got that done. <laughs> we've got our little closure. Now we need our little accordion sides, right? And so what we are going to do is throw this in here and then we're gonna grab our little pieces of paper. These measure, what do they measure? Six by three. And you score them at every half inch. So these measure six by three and you score at every half inch. And this is our little accordion wall for the sides. And I just did some stitching on them, nothing too elaborate, just a little zigzag stitch. Okay. And we are going to add double-sided tape to this as well. And then add it to our... accordion. This is thicker than my, than my little accordion folds, but that's okay because you can just fold it over once you take off the back. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off and fold that excess over and then I'm going to bring this up like this and we are going to adhere this right up against this fold right here right right there making sure to line it up with the edge just like that okay so you use this edge and this edge all right and then we're going to do the same to this side see can you see where we're going now so good right just line it up this tape is really really sticky <laughs> look how cute ah so exciting to see your little vision come together um so i have seen people do straws and things like that to hold these little accordion sides in place but I'm just going to use paper to hold them in place so let me add this side and I will be right back Okay, so I cut some little dividers for the inside of this. I think I would have added one more inch to this to have one more accordion fold and add another one of these. I used the um, layering piece to cut these out and they fit perfectly inside here. So you can just add them into your accordion and then I adhered these, but you can um, 
just leave them as is and so that you can pull them out if you're going to use it like as a mini album i think that would be so cute you can also add little tabs to these you guys i think that would be even cuter um so yeah i think this is just such a sweet way to create a little mini album or even just like a little embellishment book so i'm thinking this is you know if you use it this way it's going to be so sweet to use as a little embellishment book um and you guys, what is that? It's a magnet. <laughs> is that not the cutest? I'm so happy about that. I'm so excited. So I am going to embellish this and I will show that at the end of this video so that you can check out um, what it looks like all embellished and you can see what I decide to fill this with. I'm thinking just some embellishments like some bows, some rosettes, maybe some little flag banners back here. So we will see. Um, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hey you guys, so I think I finished my little thank you gift. So to start off with, we have our little accordion. Um, here file folder accordion super cute right i love the flowers on here um the bow this is a santa bow die set and so it opens up i have a little magnet on there and inside i have this embellishment right here it's one of the little wavy banner flags um or wavy banners i have this bag topper right here that i think is so gorgeous i love the poofiness of it who doesn't love a poofy bow right and I just put them on these little uh, file folder tabs with some double-sided tape. I regret that I didn't do any stitching, but I just got so excited with how cute these came out that I forgot to go back and do stitching. So, but I think it'll work. It's still really cute. And then for these, I used my favorite witch bow die set and this um, glitter table runner that my friend Ari gifted me. So that's what's in there, just a few embellishments. And again, this is just a little thank you gift for a crafty pal. She sent me a little gift in the mail. So this is what I am sending her back. Um, these are, I took out of my Tuesday morning vault <laughs> um, because we don't have Tuesday mornings in my area anymore. And so anyway, this is something I had picked up there and I thought I'd gift it to her. And it has um, one of those, the larger uh, bag topper bow bag topper on here and again look at all of these layers i just think they are so cute and i just added some little foam squares in there to give it a little more dimension and yeah i think it's adorable and then finally this is my card to her let me zoom out a little bit it's a slimline card so it's pretty long look at how cute this is so look i used the little um corners from the from this die set to embellish this and then I used these gorgeous butterflies from the Tulip mini album die set. My witch bow. Got to add that in. Then I have this guy right here. He's the bunny mini album. And so lots of dies in here. And then I have my friend's name on here. Some little carrots. And I just think it's super cute. And then I'll just write a little note in here. And that'll be my thank you gift to her. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.